Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back. We are back with another video. This video is under the Fair Use Act, and the Fair Use Act is in the description box for the video, as well as the About Me section of the platform. The Fair Use Act is used to educate you guys on what we are covering on this particular platform. Please keep in mind that this video and all my videos are allegedly as well as education purposes only. Well, it looks like T.D. Jakes has went into looked like a shock to me, a possible numbness, right? Those that have any education or whatever the case in the medical field, you know, a lot of times it could be stroke, it could be heart attack, however. I'm not sure what it is. You know, I'm not a doctor. From what I'm gathering and from what I'm receiving from my sources, T.D. Jakes was on a vacation or a trip to visit another minister or a pastor or a brother in the ministry and he went into another country africa so when you guys see that he was telling them that he missed them and all that different stuff it was because he was away for some time he was actually allegedly in africa and i don't know if he's taking the time to isolate or whatever the case because no matter how we feel like that 19 situation is gone or that 9 situation C9 I call it 19 y'all know what I'm talking about can't say it here they be tripping and it's still out here it's still in hospitals people are still getting sick you know if you got loved ones that work in the hospital or the medical field it, there's clearly patients there again I'm not saying he has that but I'm saying that you know with him having taken a trip to Africa allegedly it could just be an illness and he's going to be okay. You know, it doesn't necessarily mean that nothing is life-threatening or, or whatever the case. People's bodies take things differently, handle things differently. Some people are saying, oh boy, Diddy getting ready to come home. And Diddy's allegedly been saying a lot about people who, you know, acting like he don't exist or, you know, like they don't got his back. And so, of course, people are putting that into the air. Listen, I don't know what's going on. But I will say this. For him to go numb, that could be a sign of the several things I spoke about. The heart, the the lungs. It could be a lot. But I don't wish nothing, especially no one being unalived or nothing like that. Uh, I just can't do that. You know, because again, it could be our loved ones that we wake up to and, and they're going through this very same situation. Right? And so, of course, his congregation, a lot of them had to run up there and try to help him. And, you know, his last words was basically to say, you know, maybe go in peace. But that's something that even us this morning at church, when we prayed ourselves out, you know, that's what it was. You know, everybody go in peace, you know, safe travels, things like that. And so I don't know if he was saying that upon himself. Or if he was just saying to his congregation, go in peace, because that is some of the final words when you are closing out in, in service, right? However, I just feel like, Dad, you just don't know. You, you really don't know. You don't know. It could be me. It could be your loved ones. We don't know. So the last thing we're going to do is kind of laugh. I'm definitely not going to laugh about nothing like this, because I do have loved ones who went through similar things or whatever the case and so absolutely it's not funny you know but yeah I, just, I think they should take it down i wouldn't want that i don't know that's just my opinion but to each his own for whatever reason they chose to leave it or whatever people will say well i bet you the shade room is gonna cover this they don't cover anything else that he does or any other thing that he's been pictured and doing but hey Legendly, they are members of his church, so <laughs> you know what I'm saying. But um, yeah. So this this is. I'm not gonna say it's bad because we know that God is an on time God, and we know that that doesn't necessarily mean He won't be back or whatever the case. But 
to actually watch it for yourself, it's like, wow. He actually looks like he lost some weight, so maybe he is working on himself. But again, when you go into other countries and you come back into your country, sometimes you do get sick. Sometimes it's when you least expect it, right? And so could that be the situation? Could he have caught something on his travels or whatever the case? Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the channel. Love on those that love on you. If I don't see you guys by Thanksgiving, enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. And remember that every day is something to be thankful for because somebody somewhere just may not see it. Be blessed. Peace.